The problem with the previous picture is that it missed an important special case that has actually been a problem on real systems. If you have not two tasks, but three tasks, you can get unbounded priority inversion. That means that the high priority task might have to wait an extremely long time to get its chance to complete because the low priority task has the mutex. Here's how the mechanism works. Let's say you have a medium priority task. So before we had high and low, medium is in between them. And this medium task is completely uninvolved in the mutex. It doesn't even know the mutex exists. So let's look at a timeline. As before, the low priority task is executing because the high priority task has nothing to do. It grabs hold of a mutex. At that point, the high priority task decides it needs to run and it needs the mutex. It fails to get the mutex because the low priority task has it. And it says, fine, I'm going to relinquish control and the low priority task can start computing again. But before the low priority task gets done, a medium priority task comes along. Now here's the catch. The high priority task has relinquished control until the mutex is released. So it's out of the running. It's just sitting and waiting. The low priority task is running along with the mutex, but the medium priority task is higher than the low. So the medium task grabs control and runs as long as it wants to. Now the low priority task didn't have a mutex. This would be fine because medium priority is higher priority. It's supposed to run first, but that medium task could have a really long blocking time. It could just run for a very long time. And the low priority task holds the mutex that whole time until the medium's done. Only then does the high priority task get to run and have the mutex because it's been waiting on the mutex too. So you have unbounded priority inversion involving this medium priority task that had no idea this was going on and never touches the mutex. The problem here is that a medium priority task has stalled the high priority task indirectly and trying to account for all the possible medium priority tasks is really tough and basically gives you in most systems an unbounded priority inversion that's just way too long. To handle this case, you need some sort of plan to avoid that medium priority task delaying the low priority task.